Some of the major developments we're tracking right now, there are at least 21.6 million cases of coronavirus worldwide, with 5.4 million of those here in the United States, and more than 775,000 deaths around the globe. With me here starting us off is ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton. And Dr. Jen, with so much talk about the need for accurate and widespread testing and increased awareness about the diverse, diverse symptoms that we're yep. seeing, um, you have some interesting news um, about skin testing for COVID. Yeah, this was really interesting, got my attention, Amy. Some background on this first. We know that there have been skin findings, things like rashes or skin changes reported in, according to one published study, 8% of people diagnosed with COVID-19. So again, we're talking about things like tiny little rashes, swelling around the joints, um, things that look like what we call vascular-like lesions, either on the toes, the hands, or on the trunk. Just published in The Lancet, um, Amy, was a case report of an 81 year old woman in Switzerland with COVID-19 who had a skin biopsy. They weren't really sure what was making her sick and it came back positive for low levels of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So really interesting. One person, one case report, but very interesting. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.